Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the St. Francis of Assisi School Class of 2021 Graduation Ceremony. Tonight, we reflect on all time here at St. Francis. We remember all the amazing times we've had, all the fun and exciting lessons we've learned, and all the spectacular friends we've made. We will always remember the extraordinary moments we have had here, from our fun day at the park, where we got to spend time with our classmates, running around, joking with each other, and having a good time, to the Veterans Day ceremony, where we had to work together as a class to honor our amazing veterans. So many of these events and experiences have taught us valuable lessons and have shaped us into who we are today. Although we are leaving SFA, all of us should be excited for the future. Let's celebrate everything we've been taught here and all of our accomplishments. We are proud of who we are today because of the lessons St. Francis has taught us. We will carry out all that we have learned into the world beyond SFA. A reading from the book, A Sirach. Faithful friends are a sturdy shelter. Whoever finds one, finds a treasure. Faithful friends are beyond a price. No amount can balance their worth. Faithful friends are life-saving medicine. Those who fear God will find them. Those who fear the Lord enjoy stable friendship. For as they are, so will their neighbors be. The word of the Lord. Thanks, please. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Will you not instead give us life, and shall your people not rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people, and to his faithful ones, and to those who put in him their hope. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. The truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruits that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Father Steve, Mrs. Herman, faculty and staff, graduates of St. Francis of Assisi, families, friends, it is good that we are here. It is good that we are here to celebrate an important event, an important event in the lives of these young men and women. And I am grateful for this opportunity to give this reflection. It truly is an honor. And with this opportunity, I wish to speak to the graduates. Dear graduates, this ceremony is an important one for you, but it's also important for your families and your friends, for our school and for our parish. For you, dear graduates, this marks an important occasion. To graduate means to take the next step. Today, you indeed are taking the next step. You have finished your work here at St. Francis, and now you are taking the next step into high school with all of its challenges, with all of its opportunities awaiting ahead of you. It is an exciting time for you, so today is important. But as I said, this occasion is also special for your families and for your friends. For them who love you and support you, they have waited for this day. They have seen you grow up over the years and have seen you accomplish great things. For your parents, kindergarten probably feels just like yesterday when they were holding your hand as you first entered the school. But to see this day and all that it means, I'm sure they're swelling up with pride and cannot wait to see you receive that diploma of what you have accomplished here. And for our school and for our parish, while today it is also an important day, it really is a day of hope. As we look upon you, the graduates, the faculty and the staff, remember how they worked with you, how they encouraged you, how they challenged you, because they believed in you, and they still do. They saw potential in each of you, even if you could not see it in yourself at the time. And we have seen how far you have come and can only imagine how far you will go. That is why for our school and our parish, this is an important day, a day of hope, and we are proud of you. But graduates, your education is not finished. Before you take that step, 
there is one more lesson. This lesson was your first lesson, and it was emphasized year after year, and it is the most important lesson that we can teach you. The lesson is this. God is love, and God loves you. I cannot stress that enough, how you are loved. From the moment you were conceived in your mother's womb, you were loved and have been loved and forever will be loved. As I told you time and time again, when we had our many classes on the mass, when we hear those words of Jesus, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body given up for you, what he is saying is, I love you with all my heart. As you go forward with life, you will encounter new pressures and new responsibilities. Things and people will come and go, but the love of God will be ever constant. You can rely on it. You can build upon it because that is the foundation. Father Steve mentioned that this morning. The love of God, God's love for you, is the foundation of your life. So be courageous, take the next step, but stay close to the heart of Jesus, to the one who loves you like no other, and never, promise me never, that you will never forget how loved you are in the sight of God and to the church. Father Steve, I acknowledge that these young men and women seated before us have fulfilled all of the requirements set upon them by both the Diocese of Cleveland and the State of Ohio. They are now ready to graduate and take the next step on their educational journey. The Class of 2021. Boy, young men and young ladies, when you come up, you don't have to wear your face masks. Make sure you pose for a picture when you come up. And please hold all applause until the end. Margaret Therese Richter. Charles Richard Robinson. Eliana Perry. John J. Zarilla, Jr. Josephine Ann Pickerel.
Mia Therese Gasper. George Thomas Abinader. Quinn Joseph Kavanaugh. Thomas Robert Villada. Marianne E. McGuigan. Gabriel Michael Raphael Fredo. Amelia Spangler. Joshua W. White. Preston N. Brown. Elaine Rose Hammerhofer. Joseph Eric Spielman. Abigail Renee Drago. Samantha Gianna Kess. Riley McCarthy. Robert Joseph Nara. Declan J. Norton. McKenna Nicole Fife. Nicholas Vincent Dietrich. Dagny Carlson. Thomas J. Puklovic. Thomas J. 
Tobias Roach. Giuseppe Picciarelli. Benjamin Tibaldi. Alexander James Agresta. Zachary Richard Sefchek. Gianni Anthony Fideli. Samantha Nicole Polo Kaus. Daniel Matthew Nerona. Olivia Catherine Gisando. Seamus Patrick Welsh. Grace Julia Napic. Marcella Marie Carr. Lena Herrera Param. Lucas Herrera Perum. Aria Hansen. Sullivan Russell Franks. I now pronounce to you the class of 2021. Yep. 
We will begin tonight's award presentations with some academic honors. These awards are based on the student's final grades, which is an average from all four quarters. When you hear your name, please come forward to receive your award and then stand on the top step of the altar until all students in your category have received their honor. Third honors goes to those students earning more Bs than As and may include one C. Alex Agresta. Quinn Kavanaugh. John Zarilla. Riley McCarthy. Giuseppe Picciarelli. Tobias Roach. And Joshua White. Second honors goes to the students earning the same amount of A's and B's. George Abinader. <laughs> Nick Dietrich. Gianni Fideli. Mia Gasper. Aria Hansen. Robbie Nara. And Lena Parham. First honors goes to those students achieving all A's with up to two B's. Dagny Carlson. Marcella Carr.
McKenna Fife. Sully Franks. Livy Gisando. Samantha Kaus. Mary Ann McGuigan. Ellie Perry. Charlie Robinson. Joe Spielman. And Tommy Vallada. The principal's list is the highest academic award. This goes to the students achieving straight A's. Preston Brown. Elaine Hammerhofer. Samantha Kess. Grace Napick. Daniel Narona. Declan Norton. Lucas Parham. Josie Pickerel. Maggie Richter. and Seamus Welsh.
This year's class has been fun loving. I have to tell you my favorite memory, which is when I got to throw water balloons at all of you from the roof with Father Peter over there. Um, you got wetter than I did. You only hit me once. But I think this should be like a, an annual thing, to be honest with you, because it was a lot of fun. They, you have all been such a true gift and light for others. The students have been engaged and through their involvement have made St. Francis truly a better place. We would like to acknowledge the class of 2021 for all the time, effort, and commitment they put into helping take not only themselves, but the rest of the Cougar family to the top. Eighth graders, when you hear an activity you took part in, please stand. Our first category is religious involvement. An eighth grader knows their number one job is to be a faith leader. After all, you can't live your faith if you don't know your faith. Will those students participating as lectors or cantors for mass please stand? After our faith, all students understand their number two priority is their academic life. This year, many eighth graders pushed themselves above and beyond. They were always up to a good challenge while continually raising the bar. Will those students who enrich their studies by participating in Power of the Pen and Invention League please stand? We would like to especially congratulate Daniel Nerona and Sully Franks for making it to the Nationals with their invention, the Butter Brush. Also, Grace Knappick, Elaine ha Hammerhofer, Abby Drago, and Maggie Richter have made it. Good luck to all of you. Finally, we would like to acknowledge our academic challenge teams. This is the first year we took two teams to the St. Ignatius Brain Brawl, where they, where they both lost in the finals of their respective divisions. Academic challenge team members, please stand. What would our school be without sports? We would like to acknowledge all of our athletes who represented St. Represented Francis in CYO football, soccer, cross country, track and field, and baseball. Please stand. <laughs> we appreciated your effort and determination and loved your sportsmanship. Your year was awesome, especially the boys' baseball team being city champs and Daniel Nerona being the fastest, fastest runner all around. Congratulations, athletes. We know this group of students is very social. What better way to get to know others, have fun, and enjoy themselves than by participating in activities that will benefit and showcase their skills? Will the students who participated in the band please stand? As you can see, the class of 2021 really used the gifts and talents God gave them and left their mark here at SFA. Well, hello, everybody. We would now like to acknowledge our student council members. This year's council worked hard to instill cougar pride and spirit in each and every member of our St. Francis of Assisi school family. They provided a year full of activities and service, especially with the Stockings for Soldiers campaign, Thanksgiving Food Drive, and our Cougars Care for Kids project, where they earned over $11,000 for pediatric cancer. We are, uh, we are proud of all of you, well, let's try that again. We are proud of all you have accomplished and the legacy you have left. When you hear your name, please come forward.
President Josie Pickerel. Secretary Marcella Carr. <laughs> Treasurer Preston Brown. <laughs> Representatives Robbie Nara. Declan Norton, Gianni Fideli, Elaine Hammerhofer. Lucas Parham, and Daniel Narona. Congratulations. You are leaving big shoes to fill. This year's winners, as decided by my principal's award, showed characteristics of not only academic strength, but willing to put themselves out there, always being polite, and also helping others in need. From Ms. D's room, Daniel Narona. Maggie Richter, from Miss Kilroy's class, Sully Franks, and Livy Gisando. Let's give one more round. Our next presentation for the night is the Presidential Award. In order for a student to win the Presidential Excellence Award, a student must have straight A's in all of his or her major subjects since fourth grade. This year, we are privileged to have three such students among the class of 2021. Our winners are Declan Norton, Lucas Parham, and Maggie Richter.
Congratulations for raising the bar and striving to succeed. The final award for the night is the Spirit of St. Francis Award. This award goes to the student who displays the values and qualities of St. Francis. A compassionate spirit, a very humble and caring heart, is tolerant and accepting of others, and who leads by his or her example. I am proud to announce this year's winner of the Spirit of St. Francis Award goes to Josie Pickerel. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Before we continue with our graduation ceremony, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge all those families who will be leaving our school for the last time tonight. If you could please stand. Thank you for your years of service, your unending support, your entrust, for entrusting your children to our care, and for being wonderful members of our school community. It's people like all of you who make St. Francis what it is. Thank you. We use candles to express our thanksgiving for the persons and events that have enkindled within us the light of Christ. With each expression of thanksgiving, a graduate will light one candle. The light of hope. We light the first candle as a sign of hope we hold today. We thank God for the truths of our Catholic faith. We pray, we pray that by living in this faith, we may bring hope to the lives of others. The light of life. We light the second candle as a sign of life. We thank God for the life within our bodies and within our souls. We pray that we may foster the life within others whom we meet. The light of scholarship. We light the third candle as a sign of respect we have for learning. We thank God for the persons who have developed our education. We pray that we may use the gift of our healthy minds in service of others. The light of gratitude. We light the fourth candle as a sign of gratitude. We thank God for the gener generosity 
of the many others who have brought us to this day. We pray that we may grow in their spirit and imitate the graciousness we have received. The light of friendship. We light the fifth candle as a sign of friendship we have known. We pray that our actions and words encourage the spirit of friendship among our brothers and sisters. The light of love. We light the sixth candle as a sign of God's love within us. We pray that we may always be able to share this love with others, especially with our parents who give their love so generously to us. As the class of 2021, we have paid tribute to our beautiful mother, Mary. We built a relationship with her, not only in the quiet moments of our heart, but also together as a class, as we prayed the rosary, as we looked through her eyes during the dramatization of the nativity, and as we honored her during May crowning. Because of this special bond, we would now like to present to her two roses. The first rose, a closed bud. Represents us as we first entered St. Francis. We were shy, timid students, not knowing our way or what to expect. We leaned on our teachers and priests for their knowledge and support. Our faith life was just beginning. The second rose, an open flower. represents us as we leave St. Francis. We are now leaders who walk in faith, share our light with others, and are leaned on by other students and staff. We have grown in ways we could not even have imagined. And through it all, Mary was right there by our side. Dear Mary, please continue to watch over us as we dedicate our life to saying yes and to following your lead. We want to spread the good news and lead a life like Christ, amen. Please kneel and pray to our mother as you listen to our dedication song, She Wears Gold. She stands at your right hand. 
she stands the queen. She wears gold. There she stands the queen. Good evening, staff, family, and my fellow classmates. It's hard to believe we are graduating tonight. We knew it was coming, but I don't think anyone thought graduation would come so soon. It feels like just yesterday that kindergarten started. Some were cougars from the beginning, and some joined the St. Francis of Assisi family later. We were always said to be the class of 2021, but 2021 seemed so far away. We have grown up together and made friendships that will last a lifetime. Every morning since we started at SFA, we said the school mission statement, and I'd like to invite everyone to say it one last time before we leave. St. Francis of Assisi School is a Christ-centered community dedicated to the development of knowledge, compassion, and acts of service. I think we should take a few moments to reflect on how we as a class have developed those three things. Knowledge is a vital part of education here and everywhere. As they say, you lear learn new things every day. SFA has not only taught us the important subjects for school, such as math, science, language arts, and history, but the life lessons we will need to go out into the world and be successful, faithful, and happy people. We've learned proper etiquette and to respect others. Another big lesson our class has learned is to take responsibility for all of our actions and that everything we do has a consequence whether our actions are good or bad. We've learned the correct mindsets to have in school to ensure we get as far as our talents and dedication take us. We have learned that our actions speak rather than our words, one of Miss D's favorite lines. We've also picked up practical skills like how to study and how to be independent people, especially as we enter high school. Compassion is a key component of living like Francis, loving like Jesus loves, and leading as Jesus did. As young children, we didn't fully know how to be empathetic or show compassion. We have grown in our emotional abilities as the years went on. Loving and caring for others could be observed every day at SFA. It could be as simple as holding the door or saying hello, or as comforting a friend who is grieving a loss. The teachers are great examples because they truly show how much they care and want the best for their students. Every single person here is fortunate to have the material possessions they do. Clearly, everyone has been able to manage parochial school tuition, which brings us to our last concept, acts of service. We have done many things for the school, parish, and community. Every year, we've raised money during the walkathon, which benefited our school and helped to better the quality of our education. We've hosted events like the Veterans Day Assembly to honor the veterans of our parish community who have dedicated their lives to the service of our country. Thanks to the Student Council, we have had some pretty amazing fundraisers and drives. Stockings for soldiers supplied deployed soldiers with items like toiletries and snacks to help them while they serve. During the Thanksgiving food drive, SFA collected boxes upon boxes of food, which went to the Cleveland Food Bank to feed the hungry. Arguably, the best of all fundraisers was Cougar's Care for Kids, which raised over $11,000 to help fight pediatric cancer. Of course, the whole school had loads of fun in the process. I think it's safe to say we have successfully served others to the best of our abilities during our time at St. Francis. Additionally, we have all grown a lot in our faith through reconciliation, the Eucharist, confirmation, and our weekly school masses, we've gotten closer to God. There have been so many opportunities to live and learn our faith because of the Christ-centeredness of our school. We have had religion classes where we've learned about our Catholic faith and its history. 
Without these lessons, it would be more difficult to go out and spread God's and Jesus' teachings. We leave St. Francis with an understanding of Catholicism, unlike one we could get from any other place. I hope we all go out into the world and use this to our advantage. Let's talk about some of the fun, unforgettable memories we have made over the years. Some were learning experiences, but many were just us having fun, being kids, and uniting as a family. I don't know how many of you still remember how in second grade, Quinn sharpened his finger. Although I wasn't there, it's a story I've heard countless times. We also can't forget Herb the fan from fourth grade who ate hair ties and bit Mrs. Dahlhofer. Towards the beginning of this year, during one of Miss D's homeroom library classes, the boys took the fake quarantine bus and ran around with it on their heads. In fifth grade, our class pondered what a decarbohydrate is or if it is even a real thing. It isn't, by the way. That same year, we had loads of fun with the songs from Spanish class, like Polito Pio and Puedo Ir al Baño. Just a few years ago, Tommy learned how to use the blinds, thanks to Mrs. Kyle. We have also had some interesting discussions in art class, which always seemed to be a place where friend groups didn't matter and everyone hung out with each other. In music class, we've seen some entertaining scenes, like a fist fight with an invisible YouTuber and heard great songs like George's hit single, Halloween, The Day of the Week, or a cover of We Believe. We have done many things together as a class, regardless of gender, friend group, and interest. In sixth grade, we, went, we took a trip down to Columbus where we visited the Ohio State House, Kosai, Indian Caverns, and of course, Dear, Dutch, Dear Dutchman. On the bus ride home, everyone broke out in song. There seemed to be a sing-off between the girls and boys, which is one of our class's best moments, if you ask me. Recently, we spent a day at the park. It was so nice to have fun as a class, doing things like playing volleyball and having water balloon fights. The fun was mutual, and you could tell that we were an SFA family. When we go to Cedar Point in a few days, I hope that we carry this on, since it'll probably be our last time to all be one before we go from being known as the St. Francis of the class of 2021 to the class of 2025 at our respective high schools. Even though tonight is a special occasion for the eighth graders, we haven't been able to get this far by ourselves. Father Steve, please stand. Father Steve, you have helped us grow so much in our faith as you taught classes, said masses, or engaged in everyday conversation with us. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Herman, please stand. Mrs. Herman, you have worked so hard to give us the best education possible. You do a fabulous job, but of course you make it anything but boring. We have had so much fun doing the activities you plan. Thank you for your care and dedication. We all greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Father Peter, please stand. Father Peter, although you're technically a priest, I think most, if not all of us, see you as a great teacher. We learned a lot from the class about the Mass, and you set a good example for us all in your daily life. Thank you. All teachers and staff, please stand. To our elementary school teachers who have taught us to be ourselves and not let others define us, to our middle school teachers who taught us that you have to keep going and that we can do anything we set our minds to, and to our junior high teachers who have taught us to stand up for ourselves and what we believe in, along with preparing us for high school and the world beyond, thank you. Thanks to our specials teachers for helping us be creative and find our passions. All other staff members, thank you for being at school every day to help us flourish in the school environment. This year, we lost one of our most beloved staff members, Grandma Jack. Let's take a moment of silence to remember the kindness, love, and joy she showed to all of us.
You have, helped, you have all helped us mature and learn far more than we could ever say. <laughs> Ms. D and Ms. Kilroy, please stand. Thank you for giving us the final nudge out of the nest. Without your guidance, none of us would have been such, eighth grade, such great eighth grade leaders. Your influence on us is one of the biggest out of all teachers. <laughs> Finally, parents, please stand. From the time we were born, you have been our teachers. You have helped us through the tough times and celebrated us in our successes. Most importantly, you have loved us unconditionally and instilled in us a strong faith in God and ourselves. We may have cut the cord, but we will always love you and hold you close. Thank you. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and our time here is ending. As these doors close, bigger, greater, and possibly better ones open up. Take your chances and go through those doors. But as Peter Pan, J.M. Barry, once said, never say goodbye, because goodbye means going away, and going away means forgetting. Enjoy your journey and don't stop believing. With that, I would like to thank the SFA class of 2021 for the best years of my 14. God bless you all and good luck in high school, but also life in general. Go make a difference in the world.
Dear Lord, thank you for keeping us under your watch for all our years here at St. Francis of Assisi School. Because of you, Lord, we have grown in our faith by preparing and receiving sacraments together, attending weekly mass, and learning about the life of Jesus in religion class. We have lived our faith through service projects and acting our school theme, Love as Jesus Loves. Please provide us with the strength to continue to grow in our faith. We thank you for our amazing teachers, staff, and priests who have inspired us all in different ways. We will never forget them. With your many blessings and guidance, we ask you to provide us with wisdom, knowledge, courage, and love as we move on to the next chapter in our lives. The lifelong memories and lessons we have made here at St. Francis will stay in our hearts forever. We ask you, Lord, to guide us on the right path for the rest of our lives. Amen. Congratulations to our graduates. And uh, as your eighth grade year and your time at St. Francis of Assisi School wraps up, you know St. Francis will always be your home and will continue to build on that solid foundation. Uh, I was joking around like, we, we still have 4.30 mass together <laughs> on Saturday you know, afternoon. We still have our weekend worship. Uh, the opportunities that we have for you in high school youth ministry, our Life Team program, will help you continue to build on that solid foundation you have here and continue to nurture your friendships, which have been such a blessing to you. Uh, and I invite you to please stand for our final blessing tonight. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless our 2021 graduates and all gathered here in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, we still have a slideshow for you this evening, so feel free to sit down and enjoy. It's a better place since you came along. 
The days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose I hope 
hope you choose the one that means the most to you. And if one door opens to another door closed, I hope you keep on walking till you find the window. If it's cold outside, show the world the warmth of your smile. But more than anything, more than anything, my wish for you is that this
to live as friends I always knew this day would come We'd be staying